Hello, I'm Janelle Christophers, Executive Producer of the Queensland Performing Arts Centre's 2019 International Series. I'm going to talk you through a scene from an upcoming performance of the Bolshoi Ballet Spartacus at QPAC. The scene is the gladiator duel of Act 1, Scene 3, the orgy at Crassus Villa. During this iconic scene, Crassus, frenzied and drunk with wine and passion, demands that two gladiators, Spartacus and Hermes, fight to the death for his entertainment. You can see Crassus here, standing centre stage, surrounded by his courtiers, a position of power in the tableau. Two slaves are brought on stage, facing in different directions, which highlights their opposition. The slaves raise their blades above their heads, extending up onto their toes to lengthen their bodies. This exaggerates the anticipation of the duel to come. The slaves edge their way toward each other, their movements tense and angular, making it clear to the audience they are blinded by their helmets. The tempo of the music increases as the slaves repeatedly lunge blindly in opposite directions. Moving the blades around their bodies is both a protective and aggressive gesture. The beating sound of the trombones add to the tension. The crescendo of strings suggest a spiralling inevitability as the slaves shenay, or spin, towards each other. At last they collide to the clash of cymbals and the alarming sound of horns. The courtiers start to stand and gesticulate with small movements and expressions, but not to detract from the main action. By this point, it's difficult to recognise which slave is which. Note the courtiers are used like a second audience to the drama taking place, almost a mirror reflecting the audience in the theatre. Percussion breaks the moment. The courtiers move back from the action as the slaves become more frantic. A slave finally makes contact and stabs the other to strident music and a cymbal clash. The courtiers gesture in dismay, freezing in position, so the only movement and focus is Crassus and the dying slave. Crassus' body movements soften slightly here and raising the chalice to drink suggests he is drunk with power. Removing the helmet reveals Spartacus, shielding his eyes from the light. He walks with arms outstretched in dismay towards the dead slave, recognising the man he has just slaughtered, Hermes. Lowering the scrim and darkening the light to blue leaves Spartacus alone, cold and in stunned silence as he lumbers forward, looking at his murderous hands, trembling to the tooting horns. His despair develops into anger and protest. This scene is pivotal for Spartacus' character. He realises he has but one choice of action, to win back his freedom.